All right, everyone, so here we are back with another five watt hydrogen de demonstration with my four capacitor dump parallel circuit here. You can see the neons are lighting up. They are glowing and they are ready to dump into my hydrogen cell. This is the same cell that I did in my last video and I was gauging the output and getting a good glug of gas every three to four seconds. Well, I'm happy to say now that in my biased opinion, I think this is over unity and I'm about to show you why. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. I'll show you right now that I'm drawing nothing. Actually, I'm drawing 0.4 watts. That's kind of weird. I think it must just... Oh, it's because of the neons. Right. Duh. So I'll hook this up and I'll show you the power draw. These are my timings for the amount of bubbles I was getting every two minutes. And last night I was getting 68 and hopefully I'll get more this time. So I'll go ahead and I'll hook it up now. You can see there's a tiny little spark, but hardly anything, if that. So now it is hooked up. And as you can see very carefully, the neons are firing. And I get gas. I mean, I get a lot of gas coming out of there. It's crazy how much you can get. And here we are. This is the production as of... 24 hours later, you can see that the bubbles are much more effective now. I'm getting them about every second. And my power draw... Oh, look at that. 5.2 watts. How is that even possible? Well, I feel like, in my own educated guess here, the capacitor dump circuits are... I, I mean, I'm not going to put money on it, but I feel like there's some sort of over-unity effect at play or some kind of zero-point energy thing. Because why is it that I'm hardly drawing any current, I'm using practically just voltages and I'm getting this result right here. I mean, just look at how much is coming out of the chamber. In fact, let me just get my light on my phone real quick, because it's not really that good of a visual. I've got all that right there coming out. I filled it up a little more tight this time with water all the way up there but it I mean if you can believe just how much hydrogen is coming out of this thing it's it's insane it's a 17 tube configuration down there and I'd like to do the timings again just to see what I'm getting with how many of these things little bubbles that I get out of my gas gauge here are coming out so this is for 5.1 watts, guys. So you have to you have to figure that this isn't just like plugging in your your ordinary 100 watt or 200 watts, like 50 amp DC power supply to get hydrogen. I'm only using probably very very little of that. Probably only a twentieth of an amp, really. I mean, it's it's just hardly anything. So. That's what I really like about it. I'm going to go ahead and I'll get the new timings because I'd like to see within two minutes how many bubbles I get. And last night I was getting 68, so I will find out real quick. Alright, here we are everyone with the new timings. And can you believe it? I got 90 glugs of bubble this time. And that was just from waiting overnight. So I think something is definitely happening. By the way, this is fresh water. I changed this out five minutes ago. It's tap water, no electrolyte. In case anyone was thinking that you're doing something to the water with holding a charge on it and making it um, break down easier, it has nothing to do with the water. It's actually the tubes that will form a dielectric barrier over time. I like to call it the white crust, but other people call it different things with the overall the conditioning process that makes it form. Uh, Ravi, which was uh, someone who did electrolysis years back, said it was a nickel slash chromium oxide layer. And yeah, it forms in the tubes over time and it breaks the water down ridiculously good if you just use voltages or back EMF. And I have to say, I haven't really worked that much on like the VIC that Stanley Meyer did, but I, I love this technique because it's basically conventional electrolysis you're not really using a voltrolysis but more or less you are because you're really only using voltages and 
that's proving here with just dumping these capacitors when they charge into the cell and I'm really happy with it I think tomorrow I'll probably be getting mm, maybe a third more of what I'm getting now and I just really like it so I'll leave it at that guys let me know what you think I'll probably have a tutorial for making the cap dump circuits as well as designing the cell because if you think that it just has to do with making a good circuit and throwing it onto some electrolyzer with two tubes in the water I mean it's really not that simple it really does have to do with the design of your cell because if you make a cell and you just throw current at it you're not gonna get the results I'm getting you have to actually put a lot of precision in it so yeah that's it guys hope you enjoy and see you next time